Hey there everyone, welcome to The Daily Show here on the Grey Main Gaming Channel on this magical Saturday morning. I hope yours is magical, at least. Uh, Saturday, aren't they always? They have, I mean, it's got to be one of the most magical days of the week. <laughs> I remember, I mean, now it's like I can sleep in whenever I want and you know, I don't have anyone to answer to really and... Um, I remember, though, when I was a kid and a teenager, you know, when you're a teenager, you're up all night on Friday night with your friends, hanging out at the mall, doing the things that teenagers do, and uh, playing video games at home up and you know, till 3, 4 in the morning, having pizza, Friday night stuff, right? School's done for the week. Just having fun with your friends. And then finally, around 6 o'clock, you crash and you fall asleep. You know, you you have your face mashed into a box of pizza. You wake up and you got like all kinds of weird stuff, you know, that's stuck to your face. <laughs> but I remember uh, <laughs> uh, I never had the luxury of sleeping. And my stepfather was, uh, uh, you know, I say an, uh, an ex-Marine, but as he would remind me very often, there's no such thing as an ex-marine so <laughs> so he was always up at like seven o'clock on the dot no matter what on weekends on weekends he was up earlier during the week because of course he had a job um and my mom would you know would also be up she she'd make breakfast blah 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 and then she would start her house cleaning and at seven o'clock seven thirty eight o'clock eight there around that I'd be just, you know, just getting into some REM sleep because I had probably gone to bed an hour and a half, two hours prior. And uh, I hear this loud vacuum cleaner start cleaning the floors. Yeah, my mom cleaning the house every Saturday. <laughs> she did it every Saturday. And I could, you know, now I don't have to hear that in the mornings. I don't hear that. So it, you know. Saturdays are blissful, even though, you know, I'm up early, I'm doing the daily show, but they're still pretty blissful. I'll, you know, I'll get off here and sleep or whatever, and then get up and have, you know, my Saturday breakfast, which could be waffles or pancake, something special, or even tomorrow on Sunday. But that's how Saturday is, so I hope yours is just as blissful today. <laughs> Oh, man, I tell you, it's too funny, but there's not much going on for gaming. New still playing Zelda, still enjoying Zelda. I gotta say, I'm, I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying playing it. I like, as I said yesterday, the day before, I like the new features. They take some getting used to, yeah, but you do get used to them. And I can't wait to make some really cool constructs, you know, I'm, I'm eager to do that. I have some ideas that are kind of floating around in my head already that I just want to try. And see if it works. That's the cool thing about it is you get to experiment with these things, and see uh, and see where you know where they work and where they fail. So I'm excited about that aspect of the uh, Tears of the Kingdom. So uh, other than that, I don't think there's any other gaming news that I've noticed. Um, the only thing that would be even related to like. Um, uh, to Disney is the issues they're having in Florida. They just closed down a close to one billion dollar project because they're having some issue with the governor of Florida and uh, and other things, you know. So they decided to to ax this close to one hundred billion or no one billion dollar campus that they were making. Uh, and they were planning on moving some of their Imagineers and employees from California to Florida, like 2,000, 2,000 jobs. Um, and, uh, and they decided that, uh, no, they aren't going to do it anymore. And, uh, like, the, you know, that area of Florida is now going to suffer uh, because of, you know some childish heads that be on both sides so i don't get into politics but uh you know that's a lot of money for the local economy of florida to lose and you know, as you know right now the disney company while it's always going to be in 
good shape because, I mean, you know, it's been around for a hundred years for a reason. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. Uh, but uh, they're they're taking some serious flack right now over a lot of things, you know, a multitude of things that are going on. Let's hope it doesn't affect Dreamlight Valley or Speedstorm. So, so far, we're in the good with that. It hasn't touched it at all. So, yeah. All right. So that is the news for today. Uh, let me see here. We're going to do our trivia question, which I was reading over comments, and apparently I had this, uh, this question before. It must have been the last contest, because I looked back on the current contest, and I did not see that question, but I possibly could have asked it in the last contest that ended uh, back in April. Um, but you know what? I did say early on that I was probably going to repeat some questions just to, you know, uh, I don't care, you know, if I'm handing out points, oh well, you get points, you get free points. That's, you know, that's the end all, beat all. You get free points if you, if I ask the question twice. But you know what? That means today I'm going to ask a harder question, <laughs> and I will. So the question yesterday was, what was, or what is the name of Kylo Ren? What's his birth name? And of course it is Ben Solo. Named after, of course, Obi-Wan Ben Kenobi. And his father, uh, you know, his last name is Solo. Han Solo is his father. Hope that didn't spoil it for anyone. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was the question. We'll see who has the answers. Today's question is going to be... Uh, the Emperor, the Emperor Palpatine, had a mentor that he uh, disposed of. He disposed of his mentor. Now, it's said that this mentor could you know, was so powerful with midichlorians that he could create life. Uh, and, in, you know, and in doing so, could conquer death. What was that... Dar, what was the his name? What was uh, the emperor's mentor's name? Okay, that is what I want to know. That is the trivia, and it's a really cool story. So if you ever uh, if you ever want to read a cool story, that's the one to read. Uh, but the emperor's mentor was at one time so powerful that he could create using midi chlorians could create life, uh, and thus could beat death. Uh, what was his name? Okay, let us get to the uh, questions and comments that we have. Uh, let me look at these over. So I think I had one I wanted to answer right off the bat, but I don't. Okay, no, I don't have one. I thought it was here somewhere, but uh, we will start with that. First of all, I want to, of course, mention uh, that we have... Um, some dogs that need some attention this weekend. We have, uh, uh, of course, on my um, on my Facebook uh, specifically right now. I have a dog that I posted a little while ago. His name is G. There's two there that are actually that need help. We have one in. Uh, where is this one at? She is at. Oh, I had the address. Let me look. Uh, no, no, no. I don't know why they don't make these addresses clear. I mean, this is the problem that people find when trying to help out these animals, is that people do not write the correct information that's needed. Just give us their ID number and their address. So this one is at um, uh, Miami-Dade Animal Services, number A2396383. So please, her name is Mila. Please share her if you're in the Miami-Dade area. The at the phone number for uh, for Miami Dade is three zero five eight eight four one one zero one. The address is three five nine nine Northwest seventy nine Avenue. Uh, and is that Dor Doral, Florida, three three one two two. So there you have it. I can't see that. It's so far away. Uh, it is uh yeah Doral, Florida. So if you are in that area, please, please help this poor dog. Uh, she's a spayed female, tan, white American bulldog mix, about four years old. And she has been in the shelter since September 30th. Uh, so she's next up, if you know what I mean. 
We also had this beautiful dog that his owner had to give him up. And uh, and we have a lot of those lately. I can't believe the amount of dogs that are arriving in these shelters lately. It's just uh, an endless stream of uh, of animals. We have one in um, Huntington Hunting Park or on Hunting Park Avenue in Philadelphia, 111 West Hunting Park Avenue, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Uh, his name is G. He's two years old. And was owner surrendered due to unforeseen circumstances. Poor G is having a hard time at the shelter. He's stressed, nervous. G needs an experienced adopter or rescue. So if you know of a rescue or an adopter, or if you are an adopter, and you could very well be, and you're in the Pennsylvania or you're in the uh, Philadelphia area, please. This I mean, this poor dog just is scared. You know, he's lost his world, and he's trying to find. Uh, trying to find his way now and uh, it's it's heartbreaking uh, but please go to my Facebook and you'll see the addresses there and the emails I think he only has until tomorrow it says uh, please email lifesaving at acctphilly.org so go to my Facebook if you can you'll see them on my page I've shared a lot of dogs today and a cat or two uh, so please, if you can help them out, I would so much appreciate it. Also, go to my Twitter and share there as well. You know, I, I was—I had noticed, and I thought, you know, our governments are terrible. Our local governments, uh, specifically, I was—I uh, was on Facebook earlier today, and they had this this happy story of this woman who, and it says. Uh, uh, you know, this woman goes to a popular, I wouldn't call it popular, I would say, I would rephrase that word and call it notorious. A notorious dog drop-off area, and she picks them up every day, and there's always dogs there. Every day, someone drops a dog off and abandons it out in its place. And I was thinking, I know of a place like this that was, you know, that was like that like 10 years ago. And I said, it can't be the same place because surely the government has, you know, the local government has stepped in and closed this place off and put cameras there and caught the perpetrators. And sure enough, it was the same place. It's called Dowdy. Ferry Road in Texas, in Dallas, Texas, or in like the Fort Worth, you know, that area. Dowdy Ferry Road. And it has been going on and on, and they've done absolutely nothing about it. You know what? Dallas, Texas legislators that are in that area, you are lazy. You're lazy. That place should have been shut down 10 years ago. You've let that place run for 10 years. It's a public place. People throw away their dogs there and leave. You could have put trail cams there. You could have put other cams there. We have a lot of technology that can catch these people and put them in jail, but you're too lazy to do it. Get off your butts and go and solve that place because people are still dropping off their dogs there. It's not the responsibility of a citizen to patrol your property. I mean, come on. What does it take? What does it take to get you people to do your jobs? I mean, I'm sure, you know, when it comes to raises, they're all in there. Oh, yeah, I need a, you know, I just voted I needed a raise. I just voted. Hands up. Hands up. I'm a legislator. I do all the work here in, uh, in Fort Worth. Uh, all right, everyone who thinks we need a raise, please, you know. I I want to hear all the you know I want to hear all the yes 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 you'll see all the hands that go up quickly and they'll give themselves a raise really quickly but what are they doing about this place that's been there for over ten years that I can remember all right if you live in Fort Worth call your legislator call your local uh, you know whoever is in that area I mean I'm sure I've sent all kinds of letters. Like way back in the day, I thought this had been resolved, but come to find out, no, it's not resolved. They had people that used to go there, like a rescue groups and stuff that would go and save dogs. Now they have this one woman 
who goes there and uh, amazing woman you know she's doing the job that that should be done by the people who run this county the of right? uh, that this are valley. getting paid to uh, uh, to do these kinds of things and they're not doing them so please if you're in that area contact your local legislatures and ask them what are they doing what are we paying you for uh, because uh, they're not doing anything when it comes to that I mean ten listen I can understand a few months a year but over 10 years no that there's no excuse for that so all right all right let's get off that let's get to uh, let's get to the the trivia for today <laughs> Oh, man, I'll tell you, this, you know, some things just never surprise me. It doesn't surprise me. It just doesn't. All right, we have Brenda McBride. I think this is from yesterday. Brenda McBride, uh, I think I commented on how cute her little dog, uh, Rocky, uh, was and sounded, and she said thank you. Well, you're welcome. I'm sure he is an absolute cute little pup, uh, Rocky. <laughs> That's an awesome name, though. Yeah, hey, Rocco. <laughs> you know, you remember? Uh, yeah, I don't want. You know, I'm getting silly. So let's let's move along. Um, uh, Red K says, uh, "Hey, Gray Man Gaming, surprised that I still got points even though I'm hours late." Yeah, well, you know, I've I've increased the amount of people that can that can answer, and that's ten. And I've yet to uh, have that met yet. So we're, you know, we're always able to, uh, I mean, everyone has been able to collect points since I raised it. So that works for you. Uh, Christy Crow says, just got back from the dog park. Someone dumped two beautiful pups. See, we're just talking about this. Some people dumped two beautiful pups with a sign to enter at their own risk. Like WTF, I am fuming. They were good pups. They were good pups? Or are they? Uh, what happened to them? Do you know what happened to them? Uh, hopefully that's not Dowdy Ferry Road. <laughs> I hope not. That would be sad. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, Christy Crow says, I've been watching all the videos. I don't think I've heard any keywords for a couple of days now. Yeah, you know, I forgot. The smaller videos... Uh, where I should probably be putting keywords into, I forgot. But I, I've been more mindful of it lately because uh, I'm just trying to get through. Like, I'll say like a keyword when I'm recording one of the uh, one of the Zelda videos, right? But the Zelda video will end up being two hours long. So when I edit it and I break it up into pieces, uh, who knows where that keyword is going to end up? Uh, you know, in the videos that come out. Uh, on the channel because they're split up into, you know, half hour, 20 minute, you know, wherever I felt the need to cut them off. You know, so so the keyword may, you know, might be in there, might not be in there. Who knows? Uh, let's see. Christy Crow says Ben Solo. By the way, you did this question last week, I think. Now it wasn't last week. I looked back and I haven't done it during this contest. I think it was the last contest i did it in and i i am pretty sure i did yeah i'm sure i repeated it that's okay you get free points it's all good uh christy says i love kylo my husband was like no do not name a child after star wars although he loves star wars but if i had a girl i would go with padme for sure yeah i think padme is a good name for a kid now jabba is out of the question don't name your kid jabba okay please don't do that don't name your kid jabba <laughs> All right, let's see here. Brenda McBride says, good morning, Gray Maine. Happy Saturday. Well, happy Saturday to you too, Brenda. Uh, Kylo Ren's birth name is Ben Solo. Yes, it is. I don't play any other games except The Sims, but I enjoyed watching Hogwarts Legacy and the Lego games. I'm now enjoying Tears of the Kingdom and Star Wars Survivor. Yeah, we're going to keep playing those. For sure. I'm having a great time. I just wish I could find more time. <laughs> that Zelda game is just, whew, you got to be pretty involved. I mean, I've gotten, you know, I've I played a good chunk, but, yeah, I'm nowhere near the end of it. Uh, Dakota Twilight says, Kylo Ren is actually, by birth, Ben Solo, named such by his mom, Leia. Correct. Thank you. 
Oops, thank you, Dakota. Oahu is the Hawaiian island where Honolulu is located. I don't think a kayak is much of an ocean vessel. Oh, I couldn't imagine. I could not imagine. Uh, let's see. Holly Larson says, Ben Solo was Kylo Ren's birth name. Yes, correct. Um, Red K says, I wonder when I'll get my second chance. Mostly everyone got theirs and probably third chance, but all I got was a shelf. It wasn't even the whole set. What's happening? That doesn't seem fair. I don't know what's happening there, Red K. Uh, Christy Curl says, yes, click too fast. Yes. All right. Holly Larson says, I enjoy telling dad jokes to my grandsons. I asked Siri to tell me some dad jokes, and she asked me, what was my dad's name? What? <laughs> okay. Uh, Brenda McBride says, I hope you have a wonderful weekend commenting on Tears of the Kingdom, uh, the Korok location. That was a cool little location. I like that. Uh, we've got um, Red K says, they have a, an electronic section that I have been getting stuff since the 90s. And in the 2000s, it's where I used to buy my blank VHS tapes to record Smallville with. When Smallville came out on DVDs, I got them from Walmart. I just power bank, or I got my power bank from Walmart. I do buy stuff from GameStop, but just games that I have shipped to my house because I don't like leaving my house. But perhaps I was wrong. <laughs> no, it's all good. Uh, thanks. Looking at the website again, I see wireless controllers from, pow from Power A, but I think I want to do a comparison because I'm not familiar with the LEs and I am with power rate but I can't find anything yeah the LEs mostly they uh, they sell out pretty quickly all the ones for uh, tears of the kingdom if you don't pre-order them they pretty much you might not find you might you know if you want the tears of the kingdom one or something you might pick it up a few months down the line but right now everything that has to do with Zelda is sold out for the most part except for the actual game itself which is a surprise. Which is a surprise that they have the LE switches in. You know, I guess people aren't going to buy the console so much uh, because uh, it's old. But <laughs> it is a good collector's investment if that's what you want to do. I have one. So, uh, Stormy Sherry says, I'm not mad that there are repeats in the premium shop because I'm racking up moonstones for that one day when they drop something awesome. I have 8,200 saved. Wow, nice job. So far, I've gotten the cottage and castle, house skins, and the eye patch, jean jacket set. That is great. Oh, you're very, very good at saving your moonstones. <laughs> nice job, Stormy. Um, Red K says, I like physical copies because I like to have a case for them. That's fair. You know what? You don't need to have, uh, you know, like any... You don't have to explain that. I mean, if you do you, I mean, I think it's great if that if you want to have some people like that. I, I used to collect everything, and I you know I hated the like uh, the digital uh, download when it first came out. Now I just you know to me it's like I'm running out of room in my house, so it's kind of you know it's nice to have not have all those things cluttering up somewhere. But uh, the actual games are in my red switch case. It holds 20 games. Right on. I don't have that many games, but my 3DS case only held eight games, and I wanted to make sure I wouldn't run out of room. That's a good plan there, Red K. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? Christy Crow says, my aunt took me horseback riding once, and she had never ridden. The horse she was on, she was put on, was the most gentle for a first-timer. Uh, there was an issue. They told my aunt why she was there, because she had broken both her owner's legs like okay good to make her nervous <laughs> yeah tell her the horse is why she's there the horse was great but if she stopped in the water she would roll uh even with you on top she would roll so my aunt was kicking and kicking her poor horse and yelling for us to get out of the way when we had to cross the river <laughs> okay that's a little dangerous <laughs> All right, uh, Fink Rose says on uh, uh, Jedi Survivor Research, Tantalor, you called it the Kitty Bird. Yes, I did. That's right, Kitty Bird. Kitty Bird is it. And Fink Rose says, another great video. Well, thank you, Fink Rose. Christy Crow says, oh, so Ocean, 
My cousin's husband was on a rescue 911 because he was dragged under the water at Huntington Beach some years ago. It was his first time as they are from Illinois. I am not sure he was he has ever been back in. Ah, uh, you know what? I had that happen to me. I was uh when I like my parents lived just off of the lake. So what would happen is we used to live on this, you know, the top of this hill, this and then you would go down the uh, the um, embankment, you'd cross the road, and there was uh, the lake. And we used to have our boat moored about 100 feet out. I mean, you know, I don't know if it was that far, but pretty close to that. We we had, like, um, uh, our boat moored out there, and we used to swim out to it, right? So one, uh, one close to evening, we were out swimming. It was my sister, my stepsister, and my stepsister's friend and you know and myself and we were swimming out to the boat well i climbed up on the boat and i cut my leg on the side of it and i was bleeding all over the place so i was like sitting down you know trying to tend to that and my mom yells guys time for dinner you could hear her like way off in the you know way off in the distance across the road time for dinner so my sisters and you know and their friend swam back and it was cloudy it was going to rain it was going to storm and like it got really overcast and dark like really quickly and i was out there by myself and the, i swear the water turned black because of the clouds you could not see anything in the water at all it was just black and i was scared i mean i was probably you know i was a kid uh my mom ensured that we all knew how to swim she you know we had like YMCA lessons and stuff like that. So she made sure that we knew how to swim. Uh, so I, I'm, I, you know, and my grandparents had a pool, so we practiced. And I was a great swimmer, even as a kid, I was a great swimmer. And uh, so I, I was trying to get coaxed off of the boat, but I couldn't go. You know, like my sisters are yelling, and they, and they, "Come on, let's go! You gotta go! Come on!" And I was like, no, I don't want to come out here and get me. And they're like, no, we're not going back out there. We're not swimming way out there again. And I was like, and I'm looking around and everything is like black. The sky's black, the water's black, and I am petrified and bleeding. <laughs> and so I, you know, they said, we're, um, they're like, we're going to leave. Place, we're going to go. Never gonna so me. you're going to be there by yourself. And I was like, oh, no, no, leave. Don't leave, you know. And so I jumped in the water and I started swimming. And then, of course, what do they do? There's a shark behind you. It's going to get you. It's, it's going to get you. And I just froze. I thought I was going to die. And I thought I was going to drown. And then I just kept, so then I said, oh, you're going to drown. You're going to swim. And then they kept it up. Shark, shark. And I was swimming so fast that oh, I, I was just terrified i was terrified all the way and uh of course you know i was a kid i didn't realize there's really no sharks in fresh water <laughs> but it terrified me so that i never liked water again i never liked anything so i always had this image that there's you know um will be like a something underneath me right if there's anything that's underneath me, I feel in, I mean, in water. Okay, I'm not going to talk about it. In water, and so I don't go in in the ocean. I don't go on, you know, out in the lakes anymore. And um, and I've seen pictures. Uh, they have like a picture that's floating around online of this guy in this little tiny boat, like a kayak or something, or you know, one of those things. And the picture is from like a drone. And it has a giant whale underneath him. He doesn't even realize the whale's there. I'm sure he does, but there's nothing he can do. And he's floating over it. And then, of course, I see like a picture of, like, uh, of the movie promo um, poster of the Meg where these people are on a boat or like, you know, uh, like an inner tube. And this big, this big like mouth is underneath them coming up from the wall. And I just, that's what I picture, right? That's what I picture. <laughs> <laughs> Even before the Meg came out, that's what I saw in my head of these things underneath me, and I just can't, I can't do it. So that's my, that's my story about water, you know, all because of my sisters. They, they were horrible. 
<laughs> they are bad now. Well, you know, my biological sister's cool. I don't know about the other ones, but, you know, they were, they just, they used to pick on me. It was terrible. It was terrible being the only boy, you know. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, Christy Curl says on Great Sky Island, Korok location, shoot the balloon like T.O.K. Okay. okay, that's right. Uh, Neo Jazz has good morning gamers and time of uh, or time of day for trivia. Ben Solo was his name, and I think we did this trivia question already. I could be wrong. Yeah, I think a couple of people have said that, so it's okay. It's three points. On an unrelated note, I completed the Overworld and technically Sky Map and Tears of the or in Tears of the Kingdom. I'm exploring the area you are well, where you get your camera, which uh, that. Uh, that's Lookout Landing, I believe, is what you're talking about. Um, uh, uh, so, uh, I, I don't want to spoil it, but I'm taking my time with that, says Neo Joe. Okay. Out of curiosity, how many towers have you opened up? Two. Uh, I have the uh, the one for Lookout Landing, where you're at, and I have the Hyrule Field one. Uh, I'm the same way. I mean, it takes me a while to unlock stuff because... I'm an explorer. I explore every nook and cranny because I don't want to miss anything. If you've watched my games before, like Jedi Survivor, I, I tend to go around everything first and make sure I'm not going to like overlook anything, any secrets and stuff like that. So, yeah, it will take me a while. Uh, have a magical Christmas day, says NeoJet. Well, thank you. You too, NeoJet. Pink Rose says, happy day. Trivia answer is Ben Solo. Have a magical day. That is correct. And thank you so much, Pink Rose. You have a magical day as well good day brendan mcbride says oh that's a that's a keyword can't use that <laughs> uh pink world says yes i saw that and uh, referring to the kayak with the shark scary scary but i'm still not afraid of the ocean i'm not afraid of the ocean i'm afraid of going in the ocean <laughs> i'm not afraid of it i mean i you know, i mean i love it if i'm on if i'm on the beach but i'm afraid of going in it <laughs> All right, and the rest is, uh, let's see, we have one more comment from Pink Rose. It says, I don't mind your rambling. I was talking about rambling when I was playing uh, when I was playing The Legend of Zelda. So I was just like, yeah. And she goes, and I remember Navi. Navi, yeah, we haven't seen Navi. What's going on with that? Navi just disappeared. I think it's because she didn't get a very good reception back in the Ocarina of Time when, you know, hey, you know, and uh, people just found her annoying i guess i liked her i wish they would bring her back or have some kind of backstory you know i mean i'm sure there's a lot of like fan fictions out there of what happened to navi <laughs> i would like to read some of those <laughs> all right that's gonna do it for the questions comments trivia today i've given you the one for tomorrow and let's head up to the store because we are, i'm just long-winded today and it's early in the morning <laughs> and I've got to be up soon, so. All right, let's head over there. <laughs> it's going to get you. <laughs> oh, my sisters, they were terrible. Just terrible. Just to they just tortured me. All right. But don't worry, I got even. <laughs> I got even. All right, let us see what we have today in the $40,000 showcase window. We've got futuristic green jumpsuit from Wally -E for 16000 That's a lot of cannolis. Bye-bye now. <laughs> uh, we've got 1200 for the classic Indigo tuxedo. I don't think we've seen that oh. before, Indigo. <laughs> Goodbye now. And to go. You know, I want to buy that because it's only 1200 Good day to you. I want to buy it. I don't know how it look in Indigo. Thank you, Maybe I'll find out when I come on in the, on the next show. Uh, 300 oh, for the black slip-on boots. <laughs> 2000 for the blue sailor's cap. We just had this not too long ago. Thank you kindly. 600 Hello. for the red silk gloves. Oh, yeah. Bye-bye now. 
twenty thousand oh, for the black neighbor. snow gloves. Oh, I've never seen those before. I'm gonna grab those. Hey. Never seen those. Thank those are awesome. Kindly. 360 Hello. for the green pixie dust crop top. Bye bye. Uh, 25k Bad for idea. the turquoise candy laden skirt from Wreck It Ralph. Mm -hmm. 1500 Bad for idea. the elemental blue hoodie. Frozen. Thank you kindly. 2400 oh, for the seaweed neighbor. patterned cushion chair. I'm going to grab that. Oh, bye -bye, grab it. Uh, what do we have here? 900 for the red dining chair. I'm going to grab that too. Oh, Easy there, Scrooge. Uh, 7040 oh, for the coffee neighbor. cart from Toy Story. I don't know if I have that or not. I'm going to grab it. Hey, hey. Thank you kindly. Four thousand for the white herringbone board and bat and wall. Okay, I guess I'll take it. <laughs> I probably already have it. See, I wish they had a check mark like on the window, so that you knew that you've already purchased. Twenty-four hundred for the little Mikey plush toy from Monsters Inc. I know I would have already bought that. <laughs> A thousand Greetings, for the uh, rounded frame from Mickey and Friends. <laughs> Seven sixty-five oh, for neighbor. the quirky floor lamp. Ah. <laughs> bye -bye, Come on, man. lag. Uh, Three twenty-four for oh, the uh, mini neighbor. Sarguero and black pot. I hope I said that right. Cute Ooh. little cacti. Thank you kindly. That's a bedroom. Why would you put that in your bedroom? Uh, six sixty for the you. white L kitchen counter. Thank you kindly. We've got fifty four forty for the chandelier from Frozen. Goodbye now. Doodle. And last but not least, we have the. 7200 oh, coin neighbor. bioluminescent palm from Mon. I do have those already, so I will not be purchasing that. Thank you kindly. All right, everyone, that's going to do it for Scrooge's daily inventory. Let's go out and finish up the show. We've had a lot. I was long winded today. I apologize, but uh, yeah, it's just the way I am. Uh, I hope you all have a magical rest of your Saturday. Get out there and spread some of that magic to your friends, your family, your pets, the people that you meet in your community. Go and spend a few hours at your local animal shelter today and make them smile. Please do that. That would be awesome. It'd be awesome for one person just to come back on the channel and say, I went to my animal shelter, Gray. And this is what I found, but please, yeah, if you can, if you can spare a few hours, and uh, please do so. It would be amazing. Uh, please also share, like, comment on my YouTube videos. Uh, the more people that we get to share and comment and like and all that good stuff, the more reach we will get when we have more subscribers to get more animals out of shelters uh, and uh, please go on my Twitter and my Facebook and share the dogs and cats on there there's G that is on Facebook this morning who is in Philadelphia so if you know anyone in Philadelphia who wants a beautiful dog he lost his owner and he's scared and he wants out please help him he's a beautiful beautiful dog they're all beautiful dogs all right so that's just a, you know they're all beautiful dogs all beautiful cats we don't give cats enough props so cats too they're all beautiful i have a cat in my lap right now and he's just enjoying life so i want that for every animal every pet i want that i want that for everyone even you guys i want that for you guys too because i appreciate each and every one of you for coming in here and listen, that didn't even sound right. Even you guys, like, 
<laughs> I'm sorry about that. That was just worded wrong. <laughs> you know what I meant. You know what I meant. <laughs> oh, great. You are a terrible person sometimes. <laughs> I appreciate each and every one of you all. Thank you for being here and taking some of your time and spending it with me this morning. I will see you all in the, uh, the other videos today and on The Daily Show. Uh, take care, everyone. <laughs> Man, I am bad.